You see, Clive, we're not alone. If we are to win the day, we must all play our part. And ours. Ours lies beyond those doors. We've fought long and hard for this moment. Sid's dream, our dream, is within our grasp. We need only endure this final trial, and we shall, together. You all know what it is that awaits us beyond this gate. And we shall face it together. Aye. Mm. Aye. Seems our hosts would rather we remain. I will stay them. We will stay them. Go! Just don't keep us waiting. Thank you. Joshua! Joshua! Wake up! Clive, is that you? This... This isn't stone here. Darkness. A rift between worlds wherein your kind might reflect. Show yourself! Grave and many are the sins of man. And we would have you know them. All of them. As fate has seen fit to deliver you home. Consider this our welcoming gift. Hmm. It would seem we are trapped. And the only way out is through Ultima. We find him and we leave. of your transgressions, we must go back to the beginning. 
When the world was still young, we visited upon it a miracle, magic, and in its light did all life flourish. Yet the price for this boon would prove heavy. A pall descended upon the land, painting the horizon black as night. Though we labored to forestall its spread, in this one endeavor, we stood powerless. And so we fled, that we might endure, endure, that we might discover a means of salvation. But if it was magic that caused the blight, what of the Mother Crystals? I expect he'll tell us soon enough. Salvation, alas, was not readily to be had. First, we would require a land unvisited by the stain of corruption. An unprecedented journey lay before us, one beyond the limits of our fleshly bodies. And so we cast them off. Thus stripped to our very spirit did we find our new paradise. A land as pure as driven snow, Valisthea. There would the true work begin, for the black crept yet behind us. And soon did we arrive at a solution, the illness having spread to every organ. There was but one escape from this fate, to start afresh. With a new world. The one for which Barnabas labored. A paradise free from the blight where his god awaits. And where, if we only forfeit our wills and abandon everything we hold dear, humanity can join him. So, Ultima would have us follow in the footsteps of the king. And follow we shall. For now. To forge a new world would require not only power, but a constitution strong enough to wield it. Acquiring the first would be simple. Untouched by the blight, Valisthea was replete with ether, and we had only to place jewels in her crown to claim it. Acquiring the second, however, 
demanded creativity. And so I cast forth the seeds of humanity. You created us. Is that not what gods do? We sowed the seeds for you, Muthos, all that you might one day blossom. And our future thus secured, we thought to slumber, though that would prove a grave mistake. For it was as we slept that man committed his greatest sin. He awoke. Alone in a world bereft of his God's radiance, he stumbled blindly, desperate for guidance. Finding no light, he sought to kindle his own. And from that single errant impulse was his will born. Having discovered himself at last, man turned his eyes inward and found he desired evermore that which only magic might afford. So wars were waged and brothers slain for custody over that dwindling resource. And the land, she wept tears of black. He would condemn us for this. Surely he cannot be so blind to his own hypocrisy. Not blind, just unwilling to admit the truth. But we are one and the same. upon them and see what you must become. <sighs> Valisthea cannot endure a second claim upon her being. The avarice of man drives her ever closer to destruction, but she may yet be saved by you. It is what you were born to do, why we nursed you and fed you, as your own mother should have. And now that you are fully grown, our Muthos, it is time at last for you to serve your purpose. To right your wrongs. If our sin is wanting to survive, then you are as marked by it as we are. The fault is yours. Our wills were born because you abandoned us. And now, you would have us forfeit them. All for a place in your new paradise. Do you imagine yourselves worthy of one? Mankind has no place in our world. Is this truly so difficult to comprehend? We only ever require you, Muthos, 
when the time comes to bid this wretched realm farewell. None shall follow, none shall remain. What do you mean, none? This is our world. Once the land's rebirth is complete, humanity will have served its purpose. Why would we continue to suffer that which has caused us so much vexation? Because the land doesn't belong to you. It belongs to us all! What? That is where you are mistaken. You own nothing but your precious will. Brother. I can't do this alone. And you don't have to. I grow weary of your descent. Now you must learn. This master will not tolerate disobedience. My friends, my family, we have all suffered, all fought to survive. This world may be flawed, it may be broken, but it's all we have. And if we can't share it, I see only one other choice. You have to go. You may have created us, Ultima. It's time we lived on our own terms. This isn't your world anymore. It's, it's us. us. Bow down, offenders. Hearts bestained. Nice try. This one! Huh? Oh. 
resisted this chance. And still you would raise your hand against the Lord. What now? The darkness bends. He means to end us. It wouldn't be the first time. But let's make it his last. Your fate is inexorable. Surrender the vessel unto the darkness. Surrender it unto us. Kneel before us. Your struggles have made you strong, yet your soul remains heavy with sin. Absolution is nigh. Repent, and all shall be forgiven. Tell me, Clive, how many lives have you saved since taking my name? Fewer than we have ruined. Wherever we go, we leave a sea of tears in our wake. These... these are the wages of your will, son. What good are our choices when all they ever bring all they will ever bring is death. There's no atoning, Clive. No, no matter how hard you try. So why not leave it all behind? 
Leave it all behind. Somebody save me! Won't anybody love me? I yearn, yet still she is not mine. Have I not given enough? From will is born desire, and it is this which consumes you, rendering you incomplete. Do you not see how the world bends and warps under the weight of your hungering hearts? What if it could all just go away? Just... go away? None of this is real. Wake up. It's time to go home, Clive. Clive. That's right. You're my brother. Brother? Once more, lest you forget. <laughs> My name is Clive. Clive Rossfield. Look, Ultima. Even here, the light of the vessel's will cannot be quenched, and the phoenix, his trespass should not have been possible. Not possible unless... Unless... he has been with Muthos all along. The mark of the phoenix emblazoned upon his heart, made manifest by the power of will alone. The power of creation. Can it be? Are their wills truly so potent? Are you still talking?
is a deviation, and here from does Logos rise. Sorry to wake you, but I think it may be time to leave. This place... Eh? And once again, does my creation stray from the path laid before it? Steeped in conceit, you fancy yourself a god. You embrace Logos. But we will put an end to this hubris. What are you talking about? In the halls of origin, does our true power quicken. And there shall you be made complete. Soon, Muthos, soon you will discover how little you know of suffering. So the crystals are no more, yet in their silence a new song rings, its chorus building, a crescendo as it enters its final movement, stirring those long a slumber to waking. Bloody crystals cracked, so where the hell are they? Oh, fuck me. Is that... ether? What in good Grieger's name is going on? This is wrong. Are we back? Clyde! Joshua! 
Back to the ship. I will be with you and none. Thank you. Tell everyone what happened to Drake's spine. And I'm going to need Otto's help. Knowledge hoarded is knowledge lost, if I may observe. <laughs> History can wait. I have compiled some new entries, if you would like to see them. Now this, I believe you will find most interesting. You wish to study the tomes? still. <laughs> so we weren't. Who knows? What's that for you, dear? work, but it'll do. Yeah, that should do you. It'd last you a good while.
Trouble with your gear, or... Or something for you, do you? My best work, but it'll do. You can thank me later. And? First the skies, then the Still alive, I see. Something tells me that I saw on the horizon is your doing. How'd you manage that? It's a long story. One that I'd rather only tell once. Right. All hands on deck, then. As I'm sure you've all guessed, the crystal which now commands the eastern skies was summoned by Ultima. He called it Origin. Though the significance of that name is as yet unclear. What does it matter what it's called? Its emergence tore Twinside asunder and wiped my homeland from the map. Mention of the Dominion Spires can be found in the oldest of Valisthian records. But to the best of my knowledge, none provide any hint as to their true nature. That they would prove the horns of some slumbering demon. Well... The Dominion's demise was at least quick. Elsewhere, the Republican army cannot hope to contain the chaos engulfing Randalar. Canva is in flames, and the Empire... Our allies are crying out for answers. I've sent the curse breakers to give them what assurances we can, but right now that amounts to fuck all. They wouldn't be able to stop what the skies have started in any case. People here and across the realm grow sicker with every passing day. Could it be that this new mother crystal is like the others? That it draws upon the land's ether? It certainly looked that way, from stone here. If that were true, it would explain the hastening spread of the Blight since the Crystal's appearance. Would it not? And as the land's ether slowly rises to the surface, it pulls. Corrupting all who cannot channel its energies. RK above. Ether floods below, and in the middle, here we languish, hopelessly entrapped. <laughs> it's all right. When we faced him at Stone here, Ultima told us his true power quickens in the Halls of Origin. Needless to say, we cannot allow that to continue. If we are to stop him, we will have to find a way into the crystal. How are we going to manage that then? It's up in the sky. And fast as she is, the Enterprise can't fly.
It's a lot to take in, and I reckon we'd all benefit from some time to clear our heads. The answer will come to us. Don't you worry. Ain't that right, Clive? Right. That's right. Well, go on, then. Bugger off. Same goes for you, Clive. You won't solve anything like this. Trust me. Go and get some fresh air, eh? Thank you. Joshua seemed upset. Ultima may have created us, but he doesn't make us who we are. Only we can do that. And if he would have us fight for our survival, so be it. It's what we've been doing all along. Much like Ultima himself, it would seem. His new world being naught but a means to survive. And so, we must contend to decide which of us shall inherit the land. Should Ultima prevail, it will mean death for us all. Of that, we can be certain. But even should he fail, what world awaits us? A withered, godless place, where our newfound freedom will most like prove a chain in itself. Well, that may be, but a chain can always be broken. As long as one has the will to break it, it won't be easy. It may take generations, centuries of suffering. And that is if everyone plays their part. But it will happen. And when it does, it will be on our terms. That is the world that awaits us. <laughs> Indeed. And what better world could one wish for? But first, we have to reach that crystal. Then it's a good thing I have wings. You can barely stand, let alone fly. And only the Founder knows what horrors await in those skies. Are you certain about this? Am I certain? I am the Phoenix. I will do what I must. This is our fight. Remember? All right. I yield. But only what you must, yes? I am still your sworn shield. That you are. And what of my wings? Lest you forget, you go to stand against a god. I would not have you succumb to fatigue before the fight begins. Ifrit. Your brother mentioned that some few of the Dominants who had lost their power to you were still able to prime. Is that true? It is. But their icons no longer submitted to their will. Ah. Then mine will have to be stronger. That you both might save your strength for the battle to come. You don't have to do this. If you do, there's a chance you might lose all you have left. And what have I but regret? My life ended in the Dominion, 
I fear death no more. Besides, I would have words with Ultima. He has much to answer for. We are in your debt, Dion. We can speak of debts when this is over. He speaks like a man who knows he's not coming back. And has come to terms with that. That doesn't mean that we have to, does it, Clive? Time to talk to Jill. I only hope she understands. to wish on a star. <sighs> that might not be such a bad idea. This is it, Jill. You know what I have to do. Why I have to do it. There's no turning back now. This is where our journey was leading us. Where it will end. For better or worse. I could pray to Metia for you. But you'll be all right, won't you, Clive? You always are. I did promise we'd watch the moon together. I'll be waiting. Time to go. Something tells me this is no mere adventure story. for something, boy. What is it? What do you see out there? I never did ask where you got that anklet of yours. From Said, that's why. On the day I brought him home. That long ago? And you're only thinking to ask this now? <sighs> Sid saw that the pup had a habit of gnawing on his leg, since you ask. Clap that there iron on him to keep him from doing it. What was wrong, boy? I'll take like as not. Must have been hard on the poor whelp losing his loving masters at such a young age. Doubly hard in being a frost wolf, torn away from his icons and all. Sid would always tell him, you want my iron gone, you find what it is you're looking for. I reckon what he was looking for was you. I'm sorry, Togo. Sorry for making you wait so long. 
Let's get that thing off you. <laughs> Doesn't sound like he wants it off. Indeed. You miss it as much as the rest of us, don't you? Oh. You want me to go with you somewhere? Quick, aren't you? Glad you've been paying attention. Not nearly as much as you have, Lady Karen. Aye, good thing and all. It's not like Gav would have kept him in nuts and rubbed his belly these past ten summers. Your kindness is appreciated. You've been a good friend to him. Only because he doesn't talk back like the rest of you. Go on now. Where to then, Toggle? <laughs>